What's up guys, today we're going to talk about one of the most common questions I get from new players in Path of Exile. The question is, how can I or how do I respect my character's skill points and bandit quest rewards in Path of Exile? Let's take a look. Thank you for watching. What's up guys, Lifting Nerd Bro here. In Path of Exile, there's as far as I know only one situation where a character gets a full skill point respec. That is when a new patch makes a significant change to the existing skill tree. That of course only happens with long intervals in between and usually only around the release of a new mini expansion. If you take a look at this character, you'll notice that I have 92 allocated skill points to use. This is because this character's skill tree was significantly changed after a patch was deployed. When I open my skill tree, I will get the following message. Full passive skill reset. A recent patch has granted your character a one-use full passive skill reset. If you allocate or refund any other passives before using this opportunity, then it will be lost. And we can click OK. So if you don't have a full passive reset, what are you going to do if you have misplaced a few skill points, overleveled a certain gem, or maybe even chosen the wrong bandit quest reward? Let's start with the skill points. By completing certain quests in Path of Exile, you will be awarded either one or two passive respec points. And these quests are A Dirty Job in Act 1, which will grant you two respec points, Through Sacred Ground in Act 2, which will grant you another two respec points, and Victorio's Secrets in Act 3, which will grant you two respec points and a skill point. And these quests can all be completed once on each difficulty for a total of 18 respec points. Another way of getting more respec points is by either finding or trading yourself some Orb of Regrets. When right clicking this orb you'll be granted a respec point. Let me show you. This character already has 13 respec points. And by using this Orb of Regret he will end up having 14 respec points. As you can see. Just remember that using the Orb of Regret is an expensive way of getting respec points. And if you have a lot of points you need to change, then sometimes it's better to just re-level a new character. Leveling in Path of Exile is very fast once you know what to do, especially if you invest in some leveling gear. And don't worry guys, I'm going to show you some awesome leveling gear in another video. One thing you always need to remember is that you cannot spec out of a skill point if that skill point is going to break the chain between other connected skill points. Let me give you an example of this. Let's say I was going to choose these six skill nodes. But I then realize I do not want the first two spell damage skill nodes. I can't just remove these as they are the bridge between these skill points. In order to remove these, I will either have to remove all of the skill points that I just specced into, like this, or build a new bridge like this. These skill points are now connected and I can continue from there on. The important thing to remember here is that if you want to spec out of a certain skill point, you need to make sure that it doesn't break the chain that connects the other skill points. Okay, so enough with the skill points already. So what do you do if you by accident overleveled a certain skill gem? You use the following recipe. You add the specific skill gem in question along with an orb of scouring. When accepting the trade, your gem will now become one level lower than it was before. Let me show you an example of this. Let's take this reduced duration skill gem that is now level 16. If we offer Tarkley this skill gem along with an orb of scouring, we will get back a level 15 reduced duration as you can see here. I'm not going to do the trade as I actually need this gem at this level. Now let's say you by accident chose the wrong bandit quest reward. To be able to change you'll have to trade the vendor a whopping 20 orb of regrets plus a specific amulet depending on which bandit reward you want for that specific difficulty. So that basically means if you want the 40 plus life that Oak awards you on normal, you have to make the trade in normal difficulty as well. Otherwise you would receive the bonus from one of the other difficulties. Let me show you how this works. To get Oak's quest reward, you have to trade 20 Orb of Regrets and one Amber Amulet. 
This will give us a book of reform that will grant us Oak's bonus reward for that specific difficulty that we're trading it in. To get Cradian's quest reward, you have to trade 20 Orb of Regrets and one Jade Amulet. The same goes for Alira's quest reward. You have to trade 20 Orb of Regrets and one Lapis Amulet. And lastly, to get Eremir's quest reward, the one additional skill point, you have to trade 20 Orb of Regrets and one Onyx Amulet. Remember that if you already had Eremir's bonus, the one plus skill point, then you need to have one allocated skill point when changing to one of the other quest rewards. Otherwise, it won't work, of course. This is pretty much how respecking is handled in Path of Exile. The game allows for corrections of small and some big mistakes. However, players are incentivized to replay and re-level a new character instead of respecking if you want to try out another build. I personally like leveling and re-experiencing that feeling of quick progression as your character reaches higher and higher levels. As I mentioned earlier, leveling in Path of Exile can be done very fast if you know what to do, and it is not uncommon to reach level 50 in 6 or 8 hours of gameplay, so don't be discouraged if you end up having to re-level a character. Well, that's it for now guys, thank you for watching, and bros, do you even nerd?